So what's that? To whatever the 70s? When did you come in? Well, I'll, okay. and I finished high school in 1970 to 73. But um, I, mean, I was influenced by going to all those kinds of events. And it was certainly, um, you know, even you know, 40 years ago, going uh, really young as an old sister to like the beatings, you know, everyone pranced around the parks. And... So I never knew anything better or anything else. I mean, I learned about this kind of work long before I learned and saw like a real ballet or went to a real symphony. I mean, so I was very privileged in the sense that the tail end of the counterculture, what I call the anti-art movement or anti-formance or anti-theater, and the stuff that you know I saw it into the Western Front, it was normal to me that um, this was what people did and in a free four kind of way and, and collaboration. So for me, performance has always been about collaboration, people coming from painting, coming from out of the closet, you know, you know, coming out of the cabaret, coming out of the theater, coming out of dance like Steve Paxton, uh, coming out of color art research, coming out of a sculpture like you, and kind of doing this live stuff. And so what always excited me about that was kind of the fluidity and the chaos to pull these kinds of pieces together that were always about surprise. And there wasn't script, there wasn't rehearsal, rehearsal, there wasn't previews, there wasn't budgets, there wasn't, you know, um, workshopping. Kind of uh, before you did something. And um, so I was influenced that you, you didn't know what you were going to. And you know, often um, it was um, not really about the work or the process, but it kind of about the audience, speaking to an audience, well, speaking people together. And to me, that's always been to me what live art is. I, I don't really like the performance art. I've always kind of hated it. But that's why we have a lot of we call live art. Um, I mean, I love popular culture. I love rock shows. I like going to clubs. I like things on the streets. I like observing people on the bus. You know, I like going to all kinds of shows as uh, exhibitions because it kind of involves people. So to me, that is, is the essence of, of, of the performance or a lot of art. I mean, even now, um, you know, the stuff that people are doing on YouTube or the webcam. There's a sense of still a live kind of participation. Um, just today I was thinking about this panel and you know, the live show that goes down on East Hastings is phenomenal. I mean, those people are absolutely riveting, scary, thrilling, sad, and extreme. Um, and I saw the most wonderful piece on 12th and Main today. And I thought it was a performance piece. There's a meridian where you turn to go off 12. There was a girl standing there with a sign to put the pipe because it was in the second lane. So I pulled ahead because it was just, you know, red light. And she had a sign, I think that said, willing to work in Victoria for exchange of whatever. And she kind of had a hoodie on. It wasn't too ratty. She was maybe mid-20s. Um, quite pretty and didn't look scared or terrified and cracked out. And then there was drivers, you know, kind of dialogue with her. And I thought, well, wow, that's, a, that's an interesting place to look for work. And I thought, well, I couldn't quite read her. But as I drove past her in the second lane, she kind of gave me, and I couldn't help but turn and look. And standing on the other side behind her was a man, maybe her boyfriend, with, with another side facing the opposite direction, so they're like that. So you could see one from the other, which I, I should pull over, you know, and take a picture or do something. Or something. Uh, it just seemed to be like, it could have been like a total setup, uh, but, but I don't think it was. I walked back down an hour later and they were gone. I thought maybe this was part of the life of the analysis. So I came and did or something. Who knows? But, um, you know, that, that, that to me had all the engagement of, of, of um, live art because it, it made me kind of do a double think and rethink about a lot of those issues of street workers to homelessness to drugs to uh, being really close to my neighborhood. So that uh, kind of brings me up to the 21st century. <laughs> well, not really, but uh, how much of that was street work, though, in, in the 70s? The work that was getting done and how much was being done in the hours? And the I just step by step. A lot of stuff outside. Well, I'm a lot of stuff, but I mean, I did, uh, did a number of things. Yeah. Okay, with, uh, with uh, 
survey to take and uh, oh right that is the survey yeah. Yeah. so what what was the impetus for you and Paul and the Glenn for you guys to start Blue Hill Living Art Fest? Like where did that come from? Well at, well at that stage there was Western Front video in and Pumps had been doing a lot of collaborations. You know, we were taking, uh, and we were sharing our audiences, we're sharing our, 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 our human resources, and we're sharing our space with a lot of collaboration. And, uh, and, uh, and out of that, we were able to, you know, bring people in, um, show each other off in our own spaces, and kind of do a lot of cross-pollination, because each space was very distinct. I mean, ours was more community-based. You guys were much more international in performance and um, uh, art-based, and, and Pumps was, uh, to the Arts College from Emily Carr. So there was kind of a you know beginning, middle, and end. In fact, we were calling ourselves the Bermuda Triangle. I went on J12. <laughs> so there, was, there was a lot of other stuff going on between the centers too, besides just making art. So there was a lot of you know cross pollination, and, uh, which is all part, you know, part of it, right? There was a certain kind of freedom, and I think that was the Really was that we could, you know, three, you know, kind of based on the general yeah. idea, three heads are better than one, three centers are better than one, and um, just try to, to just try to make ourselves look bigger and better. How big a profile did that that show have in, in the city? Like you did at the Congo, right? It was at the Congo Ball, the, the rail. <laughs> what what the um, the uh, cabaret? The cabaret, the cabaret yeah. yeah. But the rest of it was at different galleries and things. Oh, okay. well, at our gallery. Yeah. No, we had the fire hall theater. Yeah, that's right. Right. No, it, it was it was about getting it out of our spaces into other. At least that for me, anyway. It's always been about getting it out of you know the gallery onto the street into you know you know reclaim the theater spaces and uh, you know the huge cabaret. I mean, Ken Love did a piece on it on the street. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, you know, we had the comedy. It was I think you know we sold out twelve hundred seats. You so it sold out. Yeah. Wow.